take a spin across the farm and see how Mike is doing uh, bush hogging. Well, let me show you this shuttle shift. It's really sweet. All right, so we got to get the excavator or the uh, tiller out. So I'm going to move the excavator, and we should be able to roll this cart right out and put it on the new tractor. You want me to scoot you with the excavator? Okay, we're behind the pond now, so Mike is going to bush hog this whole mess here. You see all the brown patches? We got one, two, and three back there. This whole thing is probably a couple acres, I'm going to say. Actually, he's going to do all the way to the duck pond. So he's got 2.0. We got her all fueled up and running. And we're going to roll, baby. All right, Iron Mike in Megatron 2.0. Yeah, baby. And I am gonna go break out Optimus in the tiller. Check this out, we got some really nice corn and milo germination going on. Um, this is all milo right here. You can see the rows are all pretty dang full. This is all milo. All the way down. So this patch is milo. And then right about here starts the corn, the second generation if you will. I mean, you can see they're starting to nibbling on it already, but we got pretty good germination. Definitely better than the first go around. Yeah, so literally like the day after this, I, I did a walk around again and almost all of the corn was eaten down. But they did leave the Milo alone, so I mean that was part of the reason I wanted to give that a try. But a lot of the corn is eaten down already with, you know, when it's six, eight, 10 inches um, but it still may grow if they didn't eat the stalk out of it we'll see all right the first tilling run with uh, Optimus and the air conditioning is too cold I don't know is that even a thing yeah I'm just kidding it is, but it is very very cold today is supposed to be 106 heat index with the humidity so uh, it's a good work environment to be in here. Everything's all different, you know. I'm used to 2.0 already from using that for so long. And the controls are totally different. But good stuff. The power shuttle is real nice, I'll tell you that. Across the farm, and see how Mike 
is doing uh, bush hogging. Well, let me show you this shuttle shift. It's really sweet. So I finish up at one end, raise the tiller, hit the shuttle, just like that. I love it with no clutching. And hopefully the drone doesn't crash. Let me try to save it. Yeah, the drone loves to just suck in the trees and stuff when it's on autopilot. Alright, this here is some pretty decent dirt. It used to be farm field. Tilling up uh, spots where this, the uh, soy beans just didn't go. Uh, I replanted the soy beans and they just didn't go, so I'm going to make a really nice patch here of uh, winter greens, wheat, oats, all kinds of good stuff. And this is right here by one of my towers. Big plots like this are basically kind of overflow, so I just have a lot of food late in the season. Yeah, this is the wheat garbage I'm tilling in one spot. Um, I'm going to start fresh next spring, or even this winter. I'll, I might probably turn it all over in that, so I probably should have hit that once more, but I think it's late enough in the year that uh, the wheat and all the grains I'm putting in are going to outgrow anything as far as weeds are going right now. Two red rims kind of grow on you after a little while. Okay, so there was a log here that I kicked up and I didn't want to run it over again, so I got grabbed it with the four in one bucket, didn't have to get out of the tractor or nothing. I'll just keep tilling and I'll drop it right when I get off to the edge there. So we are going to go to a little spot right here. I'll lift it so you can see it. mess right there and it's uh, wet too. We just got rain yesterday but we're supposed to get some more uh, tonight so we're trying to get some of this stuff knocked out today. Two, I think two more days of super hot weather. back over show you guys where I'm at across the farm may not seem like it but it's going 30 miles an hour right now almost a drone Take a ride around and go pick 
the next spot. That's it for tilling. Look at how beautiful it is. Beautiful, fresh dirt. Time to start planting. All right, Capper actually working. Manual labor. <laughs> Right, it goes quick with two guys. I roll, I spin it, roll up. Mike fills it, and back out to the plots. Of course, while I'm in the 106, he's in there. What are you doing in there? Tell us again. Oh, oh, listening to the air, listening to the radio, and uh, enjoying the air conditioning. Air conditioning and rock and roll, huh? Yeah, basically, that's it. While I'm out here doing the work. I'm telling you, I'll get on here. Nah, we're doing good. Let me let me go burn this sack up. Mike is taking the drag back and he's grabbing the cultipacker. At the same time, I'm going to be planting the brassicas. So it's turning out to be a really nice teamwork. We're knocking it out really fast in this uh, 106 index heat today. Okay, here's the after look of the mess that Mike cleaned up with uh, 2.0 and the six foot bush hog. Wow, looks kind of nice, man. Time to put some plots in.